On opening night of the fall meet at Harrington Raceway, there was a race that featured horses that were gray or roan. We're going to check out that special race and then we'll learn about the winner. Let's check out number one, Action Below, who has the fastest win of the year in this group. The two, Shanitas, is owned by Robin Nest Farm of Ellendale. And number six, definitely maybe, has finished first, second, or third in his last four. There are, there goes Shiny Days out with definitely maybe toward the inside action below between horses El Hombre. They go into the first turn. Shiny Days with definitely maybe up on the outside, definitely maybe up to get the lead. Shiny Days back to second action below their third. Racing up in fourth is Frapper Joe. Parked El Hombre now taking back. Moving through past the salt, followed by Rocket Log, and then comes Just Tough, and back to last is El Hombre. They go to the quarter end, definitely maybe is on top. Shiny Days got away in second, followed by Action Below, another two and a half lengths. In fourth is Frapper Joe. The opening quarter was 28 seconds flat as they race on the far turn. It's definitely maybe on top a length and a half. Sitting in second is Shiny Days, followed by Action Below, then it's Frapper Joe. Next comes Pass Assault, followed by Rocket Log. They come over toward the half and the leader definitely maybe. Sitting right there is Shiny Days. Action Below got away in third. Frapper Joe underway now from fourth, followed by Rocket Log toward the inside past Assault. Then comes Just Up and way back El Hombre, 57 and four fifths. Into that first turn once again, definitely maybe continues to lead it. Shiny Days is there with Frapper Joe on the outside into third. Action Below back to fourth, falling outside in fifth. That's Rocket Log. Then comes past Assault, Just Tough, and El Hombre. They continue up the back stretch toward three quarters. Definitely maybe opens up two lines. Shiny Days, action below toward the inside. Trying to come three wide. That's Rocket Log trying to get around Frapper Joe. 127 and two midway on the final turn. Definitely maybe with the two lane lead over Shiny Days. Action below's got the rail. Outside is Frapper Joe and they're at the top of the stretch. Turning home and definitely maybe has the lead by two and a half lengths in mid stretch and definitely maybe draws away, wins it easily. Off stride went past the salt. It's definitely maybe to win it. There was no definitely maybe about it. The 10 year old son of Cole Muffler goes from wire to wire and wins by four lengths in 156 and one with Tony Morgan in the sulky. The horse of a different color is owned by Chrisman Incorporated and Richard Zulik Sr. Okay, so we just saw definitely maybe win. Tim Chrisman is the trainer of that horse. Now, Tim, have you ever had a horse in one of these special, like, horses of a different color race before? Well, no, not that kind of race. I've, I've had retirement paces, but never, uh, never a gray one. Okay. Now, did you win the retirement one? Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was. Um, now, this horse seemed very, I don't know if the word's anxious maybe in the winter circle, but I know Patty was in there and she's like, okay, everybody, he's not standing for very long. Is he like that all the time? Yes, he's, he's a very nervous horse. Um, doesn't have a very good mouth on him, so he don't like to stand still very long. He gets nervous around other people and stuff, and he just likes to rear up and carry on and act like a fool. So. Now, what do you mean he doesn't have a very good mouth on him? He's a... Uh, He's a parrot mouth horse. I don't know if you have, where the, the jawline comes back far and his teeth overhang the front and you know his bottom teeth over here and his front teeth overhang here and Yes, we've he had just that on the show before. Yeah, he so can't I never get his that. mouth comfortable so he's always when you try to grab him, he's always throwing his head and acting up. A lot of people want to stay away from those horses that are like a different color. The grays, the roans, even the chestnuts. Uh, that doesn't bother you at all? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're fun to watch when they're good and we're racing good because everybody notices them, but when they're not racing good, everybody notices them then too. They, you know, they're all backing through the field and everybody goes, oh, yeah, there goes that gray horse again. But <laughs> people just don't forget them. I mean, there's black ones, brown ones, gray. It doesn't make any difference, but they remember the color when they have a bad horse and then they always say, ah, they're no good because they're that color. But I don't think it's true. It's just, you know. You have a good racehorse is a good racehorse no matter what color he is. That's right. That very good point. Well, you're starting off the meet now. You're hopefully gonna be leading trainer again. So best of luck. Are you feeling good about the fall meet? 
yeah, yeah, we're we're coming back. We feel refreshed. Everything. We took some time off and relaxed. Went on vacation and come back and got our batteries charged and ready to go again. Oh my gosh, I should ask you. Last year you went to Paris. Did you go anywhere this year? Sedona, Arizona. Yeah, cool. that's like our third time there. I, if you've never been there, I, I think it's the most beautiful place there is. I mean, the red rocks and. It's like an old Western movie. You feel like John Wayne sitting next to you drinking a beer. I mean, it's it's really beautiful out there. Well, that's great. I have been there. Yeah, it's and beautiful. he is right. If you have not been to Sedona, it's you got to go. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And just in case you don't know this, um, that they say, you know, your chi, like your energy, like the different, you know. Um, Vortexes. Yes. yes. That's the place to be yeah, to really feel, you know, like an inner beauty yeah. inside of you. Yeah. yeah. All right, yep. where this is I've been to the Vortexes yet. <laughs> I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this interview, you know? So, well, thank you, Tim, for okay. being on the show, and best of luck this okay. fall meet. Thank you.